So fare thee well, my own true love. When I return united, we will be. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me, but my darling, when I think of thee. This is a beginner friendly tutorial for the leaving of Liverpool, also known as Fare Thee Well, My Own True Love. Before we get into breaking down the song, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out with making more of these video tutorials in the future. The original songwriter is unknown, as the song probably started as a sea shanty sung by sailors working on the tall ships of the time. I'm basing this tutorial on the Pogues recording of the song. This version of the lyrics was probably first sung around 1863 when Captain John Burgess first sailed the clipper ship Davy Crockett out of the Liverpool docks. The Pogues version, which I'll link to in the card above, is in the key of C major, which works well for us on the ukulele and keeps the chord shapes nice and simple. There are essentially only three chords, C major, F major and G major, which are the one, four and five chords in the key of C. We will also look at a couple of extra chord options for those who want a bit more from this tutorial. Another well-known recording, or more sedate version of the song, was recorded by the Dubliners. Uh, they recorded it in the key of A major, so you would need to replace the C, F and G we will be using in this video with the chords A, D and E major in order to play along with them. The Pogues version is quite fast and it may take a little time to get up to speed required to play along with them. The rhythm or strum pattern they use is a, a 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and feel. So, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you could use that pattern if you're familiar with it. But to make this a little easier to get started on, I'm going to both slow the tempo down a bit and also we could simplify the strum pattern down to just literally four down strums per bar. So essentially just In order to make this a little more interesting, I'm going to emphasize beats two and four of the bar by playing a smaller and quieter strum on the first and third strum and a slightly bigger and louder strum on the second and fourth. This is what we call accenting the beat and is normally represented by a horizontal wedge above the note or chord in the tablature on the stave or as per the strum pattern below. So something like this. And as you can see straight away, this gives a very simple rhythm or strum pattern a little more interest than just being the same on all four strums. Experiment with both this accented down, 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 and also the down, down, up, down, up, down, up, as per the Pogues version. Or maybe try your own ideas for a rhythm that feels right for you. The song's form is just a 16 bar verse and then a 16 bar chorus, and then both are repeated several times. The Pogues version has an introduction of two bars of C and then repeats verse, chorus, four times and then adds an extra chorus on the end. The verses have different lyrics but the choruses are all the same. The chord sequence in the verse is two bars of C, one bar of F, then another bar of C. In bars five and six we have two more bars of C. Then we have two bars of G in bars seven and eight. Bars nine through to 12 are the same as bars one to four. So two bars of C, a bar of F, and another bar of C. Then in bar 13, we have a bar of C, then a bar of G. Then finally 15 and 16 are two bars of C to finish with. Let me just play through this slowly, calling the chord changes. So C, C, F, and C, 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 G, and G, C, and C, and F, and C, and C, and G, and C, and with the lyrics C.
I know right well. The chord sequence for the chorus, other than the first four bars, is exactly identical to the verse. So the first four bars are two bars of G, a bar of F, and a bar of C. Then as per the verse, bars five and six are two bars of C. Bars seven and eight, we have two bars of G. Bars nine and 10, we have two bars of C. Then a bar of F in bar 11, and another bar of C for bar 12. Then in bar 13 is a bar of C, then a bar of G for 14, then finally bars 15 and 16 are back to two bars of C to finish the chorus and take us back into the verse. Let me just play through this slowly, calling the chord changes. Two, three, four. G, G, F, and C. And those two sections are essentially all you need to play the entire song, as it's just a series of repeats. I did say that I would show you a couple of extra chord options, and these are completely optional, but some nice additions and are not difficult. The first one is this. Instead of playing the standard open F chord, as per the diagram shown here, try replacing it with this version. This is still an F major chord and has the same notes, F, A and C, that make up the chord. But this time, instead of having two A's in the chord, the notes on the two outside strings, so these, we've now got two C's in the chord, with one on the A string, nearest the floor, being an octave higher than the one on the open C string, or third string from the floor. So they've still got the same three notes, F, A and C, but this time we're doubling the C and making one an octave higher instead of doubling the A in the original F shape. The reason for using this version of F is that when we're changing from C to F and back again, we keep two notes, the two C notes, constant through both chords instead of just the one with the standard F shape. And this sounds a bit more fluid and has a smoother change between the chords. It also means that you keep the fretting for the C chord constant while just adding the whole F shape to your C shape and then taking it away again to go back to C. So the difference, normal C to F. Or the, to the new F shape. So experiment with both F shape options and see which one you prefer. Maybe use a mixture of both. The second option is the G chord. And this is known as the five chord or the dominant chord in the key of C. And the function of this chord is generally to push us back to C, which is effectively home or what's known as the tonal center of the song. So to make this chord have even more urgency to push us back to C, we can replace the G major with the G7 chord, which is known as the dominant seven chord. And by adding the extra note of F, to the notes already in the G major chord, we have a G7, which has a much stronger resolution back to C. So if I play G to C, and then with a G7, so my suggestion here would be to either replace all the G major chords with a G7, or maybe for extra interest, only change the G7 in the bars before we go back to a C chord. For example, play bar seven of both the verse and the chorus as a G major, and then make it a G7 
for bar eight. So, like I say, again, try experimenting with the different options and see, or should I say here, what you prefer. So that almost brings us to the end of the tutorial. I will finish by playing through the song a little slower than the tempo the Pogues play it at, but I've linked to their version above so you can try playing along with them too. But before I do, if you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up, none of this costs you anything. And if you'd like a PDF of the full lead sheet of the song with the lyrics and the chord boxes, buy me a coffee, see how to do so in the link below, and I will email you a copy over. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Fairly well to you, my own true love. There were many fairly worlds. I am bound for California, a place I know right well. So fairly well, my own true love. When I return united, we will be. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me, but my darling, when I think of thee, I am bound on a Yankee Clipper ship, Davy Crockett is her name, and her captain's name is Burgess, they say she is a floating hell. United we will be It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me But my darling, when I think of thee I sailed with Burgess once before And I think I know him well If a man is a sailor he will get along If he's not there Sure in hell. So fare thee well, my own true love. When I return united, we will be. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me, but my darling, when I think of thee. Oh, the ship is in the It's not the leaving of Liverpool